I'm about to expose some tricks we all need to prepare for 2024. To me, we set rules and we can change the rules at any time to benefit us. Having the ability to bounce back irrespective of what happens to us. Yes, I know 2023 might have been a mess for you as it was for me, but girl, this time around, we are not going to play with 2024. And those tricks I'm about to expose will involve short-term and long-term planning. Let's get straight into the video. This definitely begins with setting clear goals. Preparing for any time in the future, whether it's 2024 or 2025, will involve setting and working towards different aspects of our lives. This will include personal, financial, academic, professional goals, of course. These will vary depending on your needs. You need to determine what your goals are and you can group them into the different aspects of life that I named above. So career goals, financial goals, educational goals, professional goals, your religious goals, your family goals. Once these goals are clear, then it's time to act on them because having clear goals is essential. So now we have a goal that we want to work on. We want to break this down into smaller, easy, actionable, steps and of course once you have a breakdown you want to create a plan for each of the items on your breakdown determine how you plan on achieving that particular goal i am a project manager and after managing projects for a long time there is something that we can never avoid in life whether you are setting goals or planning for the future or not time is never on our side so it is important to manage our time well meaning that for whatever plans that we've set above breakdowns with the itemized lists that we need to plan how to manage the time we need to do a to-do list and with this to-do list we need to assign time periods for when we plan on achieving this why because very often we plan on doing something and whenever we don't set times to carry out those activities, life happens and there is always some other things that may pop up and cloud our memory, take up our time. So it's important for us to set times so that we are able to stick to these times and if other activities or invitations come, we can confidently say, I would like to help, but I won't be available between X and X time. The only way to efficiently manage our time is to create a to-do list and also schedules for these. We have to prioritize each of the tasks that we've set and just make sure that we get to act on them. It is also very important to track life events because sometimes you plan something based on the information that you have at the time but as time progresses life changes, new things happen, new technology pops up so you need to actually keep up with the trends to make sure that whatever your plans are, your actions are, that they are up to date with recent times. So it's important to stay informed keep up with current events especially in the areas that impact your life this will keep you ready and well prepared for any changes that may come your way or any changes that may happen in the world another way to prepare for 2024 is just to continue to learn again as the days go by as time evolves new information is coming there's research going on there is technology happening so it's important to continue to learn continue to read continue to enroll in different courses learn new skills and stay curious in this rapidly changing world of ours today the only way to keep ahead the only way to stand out really is lifelong learning nothing beats that this next point also applies to me because i also need to work on these but this is prioritizing our health and wellness we need to prioritize our physical health our mental health and possibly develop a fitness 
routine. I personally, I want to develop a fitness routine for myself. Um, usually I'll just walk around a lot, but this year I have not been able to. But if you can, take some walks, maybe go to the gym. Some of you out here in developed countries, you have gyms in the buildings you rent, but you never go to these gyms, right? So I would say develop a fitness routine for yourself. Make sure you get enough sleep and find ways to manage your stress because you know what stress again is a constant for human beings it's nothing that we can keep away so it's important to find ways that we can manage stress another way to plan for 2024 or to prepare for 2024 is to plan our finances again this starts today with budgeting saving as much as you can and making sure that your finances align with the goals that you set above another thing that you can do to prepare for 2024 is to develop resilience again in this life of ours life is gonna throw some things at us that we were not expecting that we could not imagine so it's important for us to build our resilience just like our body builds immune to fight diseases we need resilience to be able to go through any tough things that life throws at us having the ability to bounce back irrespective of what happens to us it's a thing another way to prepare for 2024 is to identify and develop your hobbies and your interests if you're someone who likes to read books it's time to get on those books start buying the books if you're someone who likes yoga go register for yoga if you're someone who likes dance go register for dance classes it's time to leave and actually start doing things you love doing things we love our interests and hobbies can really bring joy and balance to our life in a world where we are set up to always be working for our employers it is important that we find time for ourselves to actually do the things that we want for ourselves and the things that make us happy things that bring us joy of course there's no way for us to achieve all of this if we don't have a tracking system so it's important to develop a tracking system and some milestones that we can look at as time progresses to determine whether we are actually progressing or not and at those moments we can look back and see what we did wrong what we can improve on and if we were doing well we can use the strategies that we used to continue to progress and achieve the goals so all this said the next thing that you can do to prepare is to involve with activities in your community okay you can volunteer join groups in your community for any particular course and be part of the course that way you can contribute to the development of your community another thing that you can do is self-care take care of yourself when we travel we have a lot of responsibility to take care of everyone back home do that but remember that if you are not here they won't have anyone to reach out to <laughs> to begin with so it is important that you take care of yourself go to the spa if you can afford it meditate if you can register for therapy if you can take a holiday if you can pamper yourself if you can don't work and die because when you die people just bury you and live on and after a few years people will forget about you make sure you're taking care of yourself and living for yourself right now and getting into 2024 the next thing i would like to advise that you do is that once you've done all the stay focused of course things may go wrong things may go right but no matter what happened it's important to focus on the goal remain positive keep a positive mindset avoid negativity avoid people who doubt you make sure you are in environments that can allow you grow or around people that want you to grow focus on your goals get feedback from whatever it is you're doing and no matter what, keep moving forward. But no matter what you do, just make sure that you are reassessing everything, adjusting the plans as needed. Look, guys, we set these rules for ourselves. Sometimes I just wonder, sometimes because in groups where we set laws and constitutions and stuff like that, there's often times where a change is needed, but people just want to stick to the constitution because it is what was agreed on, which is good but to me we set rules we are humans and we set these rules for ourselves 
and we can change the rules at any time to benefit us. We are not going to set rules and die because we set a rule and drew up a constitution that no one is ever supposed to change. Life is evolving. We think differently every day. So always leave room to improve. And again, change the plans as often as you can where you are at any particular time. And when circumstances change, change the plans. And above all, just review, readjust, track your progress, get any lessons learned, reapply and repeat. I strongly believe that if you follow all of these, 2024 and the subsequent years are going to be so much fun. Congratulations on your plans for 2024. I'm rooting for you. Root for yourself. Be your number one support and don't wait for others. You can do this. You got this. It's time to get to work. I wish you the best of 2024. This is all I wanted to share with you in this video. But before you go, make sure that you've joined my gang by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in my next video.